Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Friday. Fabulous Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to bring in the beautiful Twin Flames Sign and Synchronicity Oracle. I'm also going to bring in the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot and this amazing Twin Flame deck that I got from Amazon. So let's connect with the energy around you, your person and your journey. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So let's see what the sign is for you today. What's the sign? I definitely feel the sign is to believe, to believe in our faith. And it's really powerful. There's the message coming through. Wow, you've got two cards. It's really powerful because when I actually pulled a card for over on Wisdom with the Empress for our little Angelica Carrot channel yesterday... For the full moon, we got the same message coming through. Believe. Believe in the impossible. Believe. And when you believe, you will always receive. So what's the message coming through for your person today? Jump straight out. We've got a few cards here. And what's the energy coming through for the journey? What's the message for the journey today? What's the message for the journey today? Thank you, angels. We've got one card sticking out the deck there. Now we're going to bring in the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot, one of my favourite tarot decks. We've got one card flying out the deck for you. There we go. What's the energy coming in around them today? Flying out again. Wow, you've got the Four of Swords for them. Reflection, look at that. They're doing some deep thinking today. What's the energy around the journey? Wow, flying out these cards today. Look at this for the journey. We've got, yeah, they may be a bit indifferent, but that's coming to an end. So let me just pop this that side round. And then with this deck, what do they want to know? Things are coming in focus for them. See how the camera was moving in and out of focus there? Things are coming back into focus, I feel. So what's the energy around you today? We've got two cards. What's the energy around them? One card. And what's the energy around this journey today? We've got two cards. Wow. Very quick. You know, as I started this, once the focus comes back, things start speeding up. So the message for you today is believe, but I feel there's more to come out. So believe you may be seeing 111. Now look at this. You've got the 555. Five, five. Something big is about to change. So get ready. Get ready. Now I definitely feel this is the energy coming through off between now and the new moon. So between now and the new moon... It's so important you get ready for the change. The new moon is coming in on the 1st of November. So use the remainder of October to prepare, to get ready, to get your home ready, to get yourself ready, to get your emotions in check, to get your house in order, to maybe sort out your finances because something is about to change. This could be your job. It could be your karmic situation. It could be something within your home, but I definitely feel that what's about to change is the fact that you've been in a separation or you've been in a silence or a stillness, that's about to change. I feel opportunities coming in around the new moon and onwards for meetups in person, communication, reconciliation and union. So get ready because something is about to change. And look at this. Don't be afraid. You've got the 222. You've got the spider again. The entire universe is working with you right now to make it happen. The universe is working with you to make this happen. If you've seen 2121, that's a huge sign that it's happening now. If you've seen 222, that's the universe saying to you, we are with you. There's no need to worry. We've got your back. So don't be afraid. Remember when you see a spider, you may be a little bit afraid, especially if they are poisonous spiders or maybe you are scared of spiders. But don't be afraid because the spider is coming to you as a sign from heaven that you are supported, that you are abundant and that magic is on the way. You know, whenever I see a spider, it may make me jump when I see it, but I always thank you for coming to me and giving me the sign that all is well. Now you've got the world, okay? Okay. Now, in this card, this is the world. Let me just show you there. This is the world card. You know, these cards can be a bit raunchy, so I have to struggle. You know, I can't really show you the picture. But in this card, let me just cover it up. Look what you've got here. So the world is showing you a completion, a new beginning. You've got the eagle. The eagle is a huge symbol of what you're manifesting. And look at this, you know, as I've covered it up, I'm seeing this like a Christmas wreath. So the eagle, again, this coming back to you as we move into this new season. We've got the lion, which is about the strength coming in, and the bull, which is about power. And again, this is the energy coming in around the August season, shifting things forward towards April. 
You've also got this energy of understanding and truth. So there's a great completion and a new cycle coming in for you. Now, the message coming through is, wait, wow. So again, remember the spider energy. So you've got the spider coming in. This card's moving as well. I want to bring this one in. This is the one I've just used to cover up and it just moved and fell on the floor. So we've got wait. So the spider sits in the web and waits. It doesn't need to do anything. It just trusts the web to do it for them. And that's the same thing for you with the web. The spider's web is like the internet. It's like the universe. It's working for you. So allow things to happen naturally. I haven't wanted to admit to myself how I really feel for you because it means stepping out of my comfort zone. So your person saying to you, I need to step out of my comfort zone. I know it's time. And you need to step out of your comfort zone in certain areas of your life too. You know, if you're thinking, I need to make a change. I need to change my job. I need to do this or that. Your person is saying, I know it's taking me a while, but I'm grateful that you are there. I'm grateful you are waiting. And remember, it's never about waiting. It's about acceptance. It's about being in the moment. It's about living life, loving life, being in the now. But while you feel like you're waiting, God is always working. They are saying, I want to do it right thank you for waiting for me. Please wait for me. I don't want you to move on. I'll do things right this time. I promise you when I come forward to you and I will come forward to you, it will be worth the wait. And that's why this card moved on the floor, you know, fell on the floor, hopeful. I know we will be together again. And that's a real message for you. You know, in your heart and soul that you're going to be together again. I hope we can put the past and the bad times behind us and start again. This is what you want. You want to put the past to bed. You want to forgive it. You want to let go of it so you can start again. Your person is saying, I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I hope you can forgive the error of my ways. I acted so immaturely. And the thing is, you may have acted immaturely too at some point. You know, when we lash out, when we operate in fear instead of faith, when we operate in fear instead of love, when we react instead of respond, it's because we go into our own pain. And your superpower is your transparency because you can see right through them and you operate in your own truth and your light, you're authentic and you know that you can see the real them because you show them the real you. They are saying to you, you see the real me. That's why I can't hide anything from you. That's why I struggle to get a motorbike speed. That's why I struggle sometimes to look you in the eyes because you see right into my soul and that makes me more and more vulnerable. So you look into each other's soul. They see you too. That makes you feel vulnerable. It can make you feel vulnerable and it can make you uncomfortable because you feel things too that you've never felt. So you both bring out these emotions and these feelings within each other. Now, the energy around them is to cleanse and align their chakras to enhance ascension. So they may definitely still be going through ascension symptoms. If you're still going through these things, they're coming up to an end. I feel that they're going to be easing off now, especially if you've had severe throat chakra issues. If you've been going through it in the body a little bit. Your chakras are a, lens, a, a, a cleansing and aligning. It's like saying a lensing. It's like aligning and cleanse together to bring in power and peace. So they've been cleansing themselves. I feel they've also been cleansing themselves with tears. So they may have allowed themselves to cry a little bit to align their chakra system. And they are starting to observe things in a higher way, to look at things differently, to raise their vibration. And that's creating a great spiritual transformation in their life. So they may be seeing the numbers 555 and 222 just like you are, but they're also seeing 999, which is a big sign they are embracing who they are and starting to stand tall. They're going through a change for their mission and purpose. And this is what they're reflecting on. What they're reflecting on is that they need you. I need you. I need your nurturing magnetic light. You are so nurturing and magnetic and passionate. You're the queen or the king in my life. You light my way. You light my life. You, your light shines bright. It guides me through the darkness and the dark times. You feel like home to me. And I always feel very happy and comfortable when I'm in your presence. Thank you for always sending me healing, always sending me love, always sending me energy. I need you and your energy even more now. Thank you, my love. So they're grateful for you today. So they are sitting around or at work or whatever they're doing, reflecting on what you bring into their life, what you bring to the table. 
So again, this is you sitting and wait like the Black Widow Spider, knowing you don't need to do anything but wait. And look at this intensity. This is for the journey. Things are heating up between you. This is powerful energy. Our connection is so intense that sometimes it scares me, it triggers me, and I don't know what to do. And this is the passion. This is the desire. This is them coming to you. My feelings for you overwhelm me and your feelings for them overwhelm you too. Please reassure me by taking things slowly and patiently. This will help me feel comfortable with the changes that are happening. So they're asking you for patience today. They're asking you to take it slow and to trust in the timings because it's worth the wait and to let go of expectation because they want to be all that you want them to be. They don't want to disappoint you anymore. They know that you have expectations and they're trying to stand for that. But at times they feel so far away from your expectations, they're afraid they're going to let you down or disappoint you and they can hold themselves back. So let go of expectation. Expectation comes in when you expect it to happen a certain way or within a certain timeline or you put demands or conditions on things. And remember, this is an unconditional love. It can't have demands. It can't be commanded. It can't be conditioned. It has to be understood. And this card was upside down, you know. So if they are feeling indifferent, if they've been quiet, if they've been indifferent, distant, that's turning around. And a loved one in heaven is saying hello. So the robin is a huge sign of loved ones around you. It's also a sign of unconditional love. It's also a sign that Jesus is assisting you to focus on the love. But a loved one in heaven today is saying hello. So I'm going to bring a message in as well from the other side. So the King of Swords here is saying there's a planning taking place and a processing to move things forward. So let's bring in a message for you from a loved one in heaven. Now, this is a little bonus message today. If you are a member of the channel, I am actually doing a membership reading right now, exclusive for members only for the next couple of weeks, which is a mediumship reading. So if you'd like a reading from a loved one in heaven and you are a member, you just need to message me and all the details are over there on the membership um, channel, you know, on the membership page. If you want this, you know, if you want one, just need to become a member. So I'm going to pull you a card from messages from the other side. So the message coming through is there was no pain. So your loved one in heaven, whoever you're thinking about right now, is letting you know that during their transition, there was no pain. There was no pain and now they feel free. And their freedom is a gift. They feel free right now on the other side. They're free of the, the physical body. They're free of burdens, responsibilities, obligations and stress. And that's a gift. And they want you to know that your freedom right now, while you're out of this relationship, in other words, while you're single, while you're not with your twin flame, it's a gift for you to get to know yourself better, to do things for you. This is a gift. And there is nothing you could have done differently to change the outcome. Now, I feel that's definitely a sign about if you're worrying about things you could have done to maybe stop this person from passing at that time or if you're feeling guilty about something, they are letting you know that everything happened at the right time, including the way they exited the body and the life. But I feel this is more, this is about the twin flame journey. This is about you knowing that you couldn't have done anything differently. And if you did, it would, it wouldn't have changed the outcome because you're exactly where you're meant to be right now for your growth, for your learning and for your own transformation as a soul. So let go of going over the past, driving yourself crazy, thinking if only I'd done it this way, if only that had happened, if only I'd said this or not said that. There's nothing you could have done differently that would have changed the outcome because everything led to where you are now and that's a gift. So allow yourself to feel free from the pain of the past and going over things in your mind by knowing that this moment is a gift, let go of pain and focus on joy. So your loved ones are helping you out, sending you a hello and watching over you. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.